Let's examine how to use the JSON property order annotation to define the property order. The JSON property order is a class level annotation that is used to define the order in which we want the class's properties to appear when serializing an object. An order list is passed to the annotation as metadata, and these properties appear first when the object is serialized, and this ordering overrides any implicit ordering in the class structure. And if you don't want to set an explicit order for the properties, or you want to define an ordering for properties not included, you have the option to set the ordering as alphabetical. Okay, let's switch to the code view and see this in action. We're going to serialize the author class. So let's annotate this class JSON property order and add the properties in the order we want them to appear. I haven't specified all the class's properties in this list, but I do want all unmentioned properties to be ordered alphabetically. So I will set the alphabetic flag to true. Now, the order that these properties appear in the JSON output will be items, first name, last name, ID, and then the remaining properties will be ordered alphabetically. So alpha index and finally Z index. Let's switch over to the unit test and see if this works. In order to test that the order has been maintained in the output JSON, I use the JSON property schema to specify the order in which I expect the property to appear. I won't go into details about this right now, as it is out of the scope of this video. But it is sufficient to say that the order of the properties that you see here is the expected outcome order. OK, so let's run the test. And as you can see, the test has passed. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see a console output of the JSON that it has produced. Let's switch to the slides and see this in a prettified format. And here you can see the JSON output. It shows the properties in the order we explicitly specified, and the unspecified properties are shown in alphabetical order. At this point, it's probably worth mentioning that the JSON specification itself does not enforce property ordering. Nevertheless, Jackson gives us this nice feature so that we can control property order. Well, I hope you enjoyed our discussion about the JSON order property annotation. Now let's move on to the next one.